So, um, so we have a few kind of just logistical things to to put into place as we close out the workshop. Um, so part of it is that we're asking you to publish your collections by May 1st. Um, and so I want to point you to some resources. So I'm just going to put them in the chat and then also uh, share my screen. So as a reminder, this is the companion collection that we put together for, um, for this workshop. And if you scroll down there, you'll see all most of what we talked about. And anytime people shared links today, I kept adding them to the collection. So you'll see um, the videos are in there. Um, you know, some of some additional looking activities. Some of you talked about braceros um, in in my group. There's a really great video there about braceros that might be of use. Um, and an image. But the other thing I want to point your attention to, so is this tile here, the homework assignment, which I actually have opened in another. And this describes everything that you'll need to think about in order to publish your collection. One thing in particular is to put, is to write in hashtag ethnic studies in the description area. And then in the title line, you can put in parentheses Hashtag, hashtag ethnic studies Y2 for year two. And if you do that, you'll be able, and then put it in the search, you'll be able to see all the content that has been created, you know, by people in this workshop and then another one that we did in uh, Rio Grande Valley. So here's the link specifically to this tile that has all that information you'll need. And then finally, there's one other thing I wanted to show you, which is this help page on, in the lab. And what you see here on this help page is, you see over here on the side, on the left-hand side, you can scroll down there and find step-by-step -step instructions for every aspect of the collection, if you need help, okay? We also have online offerings here. Um, so you could click for the essentials or for educators, but this is the getting started guide again that has those step-by-step -step instructions. We also have, um, so this is a recording from April 8th, but it's getting started in the lab. So you can watch the archived version here. Um, and then the follow-up of that is creating collections. So that's like step two with all the particulars that you need in order to get started. We also have drop-in office hours. So I'll be doing the next one, which is on Tuesday. So this is Eastern time. So this is from three to 4 p.m. your time. If you were to just click on, this link would be live at that time. And then you can just join me and it's just, you know, it's just a drop-in session. I'll be there the whole hour. So if you have any questions, we can, we can handle them then. And then there's just other content available on this page too. Um, so does anyone have any questions, concerns? And I can also stay after if you have any questions. There was a question in the chat mm. um, about oh. how do you get those slides with the arrows as dividers? Okay. So what you do for those is that's actually a PowerPoint slide. <laughs> so what you do is you put it in a PowerPoint. I think I even put the, um, I think I actually included that in the collection. Yeah, so the spacer tile template. Let me show you that just briefly. So this is, I'm looking at the companion collection again, and you see here I said spacer tile template. So if you open that, you'd have to download this and you'd get the PowerPoint. And then once you're in the PowerPoint, what you do is you export the individual slide as a JPEG. And then you would upload it the same way you would any picture. Does that help? And here's the link uh, just for that, the slide with the PowerPoint. And you can always reach out to me, 
you know, with, with questions too. But hopefully that's enough that, that we can get you through, through to publishing your collection and feeling great about it.